Will the exemplar take all of our candles? That is the question we are going to answer with this sprawl. Yeah, the baubles are worth basically nothing. I should be throwing them away Behold, a bit more than I already am. The great cities of man. I think uh, that one looks Ruin. like, well, there's the lair. The uh, we don't know where the creature den is. We do have a hospital at the end there, which is very nice. Oh, this is such, the watchtower is such a bad, so badly positioned here. I don't think I'm going to bother scouting it out. I think I'm going to go off to the right here, grab the cash, grab some hope. Well, this is such a terrible setup. Um, how much scouting are we actually getting? Fairly large amount. But how much of this is actually, like, do we have as actual decisions? We're going to go resistance encounter, academic study, lair. Then we're locked in, locked in. So we're really only, we're really only finding out, like, one node. Yeah, so it's not worth it. Then it's just a question of cash versus... Now eh, let's get the hope. The, yeah, the scout was going to be worth so little to us, unfortunately. Now, Dismas better start hitting like a truck. That's all I have to say about that. Best to take all you can. All right, we are fooded for the final area. Your coach is laden. You can carry Siemens boots aren't going to do us any good for the remainder. Minor clotting cure also not going to do any good. Yeah, the, we should, I should just ditch some baubles, though. Because I don't even, I don't even know. Do we have, a, we don't have a hoarder on here. So, yeah. Oh, we do have, we do technically have a hoarder there. I might go there. You, you have full everything. So, it's just between these two, and I don't think it matters which one we pick. All right, we reduce Dismiss's hit points. We will probably now instantly die. That's the way the game usually works. <laughs> Top end gets the kill here. All right, with play grenade, that is hopefully good enough. Beauteous. Oh, is the, are the hospital and the hoarder uh, opposed to one another? We might get another hospital. We might get another hoarder. It's hard to say. I was going to say, where was my, where's my taunt token? Our evasive leper. So good. Brilliant to my love. Uh, bum leg is a minus 40% movement reduction, movement resist, which obviously doesn't, uh, doesn't cause too many problems for us here. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Eight? You're taking eight per turn. You're at 16. Uh, we're not getting much out of that, are we? Let's not let the whipper go.
Seems like a waste wasting a combo and a vulnerable there, but holy cow. That was a big hit. So I, I haven't won a run, so I think 48 candles, Abdullah, was my highest percentage. It was it was whatever we got for the getting going to the mountain the two times that we've been there. I, what is what is the absolute maximum for an infernal run that is a win? Is it like a hundred candles, something like that? I presume. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn. Laden lantern, we're not going to do, and then I don't think there's any value in taking all those baubles. 124 at least. Okay. The loathing wrist. It's pretty good. Yeah, it seems like each win is worth about a character worth of maxing out. But, a, like, a win is serious business, uh, especially early on. I'm kind of hoping that this one transforms into something like that. It's been, a, it's been a while. Feels bad to go from, like, a near 100% win rate to, to this. I will, I will take the full, the full goods here. We're, we're in pretty good shape relationship-wise anyways, so... Another stun resist, that's good. Don't care much for the other ones. We now have more food than I will ever need and uh, bobbles, bobbles. So my plan was to go, okay, so I wanted to see this. So we're saying that yeah, Hoarder and Hospital are not playing well together. I Do I care about killing the Librarian? It's potentially good for us to kill the Librarian. I don't really want to do the Cultist fight. Let's go left to the question mark and then we'll... Or, excuse me, to the to the Resistance encounter and then we'll we'll see what what we have going on. Oh my gosh. They, when are they going to fix the fact that the map is now like this kinetic scrolling monster? <laughs> or like getting it to just stop in place is, uh, is agonizing. Ooh, everybody disagrees, eh? Okay, so Baldwin and Dismas, we don't want getting their relationship injured, so we will do this with Paracelsus. Oh, her ladyship. The Fire Flens. Her being the only unordained one is pretty, pretty decent. I mean, it, based on the way they changed meta progression, I'm feeling pretty hopeful that I think they're going to make some really interesting changes to the relationship system. And I agree, it is generally not the most exciting in its current incarnation, but... I do, I do still think that it is a novel concept. Like, I... It's we've had it for a long time, which you know obviously like changes things a bit. But like the the relationship system was really cool when Darkest Dungeon One first came out, and then the problem is we just like we get we got a little too far into mastering it and understanding how to kind of like build relationships with it. The slow suffering begins. Yeah, new. I I can see the value of that for sure. The, uh, the Compress kit could be very strong. I don't think we've seen it this run. Uh, let's, let's proc her Deathblow. 
just to make sure. What did I do with uh, with our leper that I let our our taunt fall off there? That's interesting. I can't help but just wish that anybody would get up to five pips of stress. <laughs> You're already dead, right? Yeah. We're not going to get much further with the leper, so we'll just do that. Well, now we might get a stress heal off. That's something. Now, do I jeopardize it? Because you're dead. So if I if I swing for the fences with you, if this guy rolls high, we don't get a stress heal, which is going to be a bummer. But all right, we got it anyways. Never punished. And unfortunately, we do not get... We don't get the heal on Dismas, but... We have good healing in Paracelsus, so I think we'll be able to do it. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. None of that. Yeah, so no hospital, A, eh? or no hoarder. I feel like I always end up in this situation. A simple choice. At least it should well, be. We are 100% in agreement that we will do the academic study. And then I think I'm definitely killing the librarian also. Three plus academic studies. Uh, Fissy, I generally do. It depends, though. Like, certain bosses are more killable in the first region than others. Uh, not not all bosses are created equal. All right, so Paracelsus, Sarmenti, and Baldwin. Sure, we'll do that. I guess we're not, uh, we're not going to get the drone pipe. But yes, I think it is very strong, too. Yeah, so the, the community roadmap does indeed uh, indicate that we will be getting a relationship overhaul in the not-too-distant future. And I am going to do the librarian. I think it's uh, it's worth the price of admission. I hope so too, Tenebrae. I hope so too. I think it's cool that the bounty hunter is unique, but it's not, uh, it's not that. The library it's not as transformative as I kind of hoped it would be. With it, the remains of philosophy, reason, All right. Insight. Ooh, my blind it does nothing. An unavoidable end. And then I'm, I'm going to greed this. I know we could wait a little bit further. I was hoping for something a little more impressive there, but... Does Tenebrae mean darkness, though? Something like that? there. Gloomy. Tenebrific. Okay. Thank you. Early results are encouraging. Alright, get rid of you. That feels good. And now, can we drop a bomb with uh, with our leper here? I think we probably can. 
14 to 38 non-crit. Pretty solid. Collaboration confers advantage. So I'm just gonna wait for our leper to remove all the repost, etc. Got it. It's a cool name. I like it, uh, Tenebrae, for sure. Free actions, you say? Lots and lots of free actions for our leper here. Another free action. We just brocked like four free actions in a row. Oh, what a world reverberating redoubt can create. I, those are those are both things to strive for, for sure. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, oh, well, I could just use my first name. Yes, it really is new. It really is. Let's see. I think we put damage in on her. Wow, for non-hasty enemies, this uh, this roll was quite bad for us. Okay, get off my plague doctor, people. Hey, Robbie! Oh my gosh, it's been a minute. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear it. So sorry to hear it, Robbie. There's a big last spell update coming out later this week that I'm really excited to see. That's got me excited, if nothing else. Well done. Good hits. Hey, oh, he's roasted already. That's very nice. Oh, nice, Robbie. Well, I always appreciate your support, and it is always good to see you, so thank you for both. I might indiscriminate science and uh, and go for a take aim to make that happen. And then we'll just get rid of her. Of course, the ordering is not great there. Free action. I mean, the librarian is still is still strong, not a, uh, not unbeatably strong, but definitely definitely on the stronger end of the spectrum. Hmm, this is frustrating. I think I'm going to slow roll this one a little bit to try and get Dismiss a heal. I don't want to get the kill here, so I'm going to go for a bit of stress healing by shooting some corpses. It's just about perfect. Mm. 
We still don't have the heal, but I think we'll go for it. We're gonna be we're gonna be cat putting some heals on uh, on our leper, anyways. I don't want any of this, but we're here. We could use the mastery, maybe. Okay, we're gonna get two early burning brights because the big stack is up here. Categorize can't shuffle us, so that's nice. Oh, but it can proc Reverberating Redoubt, apparently. I think that was, at least. There's no value in using Intimidate here. We might as well get the defense going. I'm doing well, Robbie. Yeah, life is good. Life is good. I might try and kill this uh, so that he doesn't get to burn it, but we'll see. Okay, there, there's our jester being like, you know what would be fun? Taking a punch to the face for our leper who is incredibly durable. Ooh, nice crit token out of nowhere there. If you kill the books, he doesn't get to Burning Bright. That's the uh, that's the context on that one. Lots of taunt tokens to keep this guy under control. I probably won't kill this stack of books. So I'll, I'll do this because it removes the dodge, and then the repost is going to mean when he does Burning Bright, it uh, it will get the repost off of it. Mistimed. Yeah, and this is going to be a very straightforward end to this fight. I'm not too worried about it. And we're not even blinded on our leper, and, I mean, oh, it's so, there's so much greed in me right now. Nah. Keep him weakened. Nothing bad is happening if he gets a few more actions. Sarmenti can't do the heal here, so there's I don't think there's any way we're getting uh we're getting a stress heal on on Baldwin before uh before this guy falls over. I wouldn't have minded getting a heal on Sarmenti, but still, very, very clean kill. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Preparing Patriarch is good, don't care about the scouting, Charred Litany is not interesting, Buttressing Band, not interesting, Greater Bouncer's Belt, not interesting, we'll take the money, uh, we have to take everything to take the money. I'm thinking about stocking up on Holy Waters for the final fight, the I think uh, that could be advantageous. My time in the desert, not interesting. Trash, 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 we already have one Pairing Patriarch that we're barely taking advantage of. So I don't think we need two. Goodbye, Buttressing Band. Torch is at 79 because I have Glimmers of Hope. That's just the way that always goes. Let's put the Laudanum there. I'll hang on to the Holy Water for a moment here. Don't think we need that for the for the this region. That can go. That can go. Alright, I think we're good. Creature Den for free without the scout? Wow. There's 
there's an argument to be made with the general's trophy of putting the uh putting dismiss on the front line oh everybody is looking good here i think What's uh what's our relationship situation? Okay, we benefit greatly from having for picking this one. Yeah, Robbie. So so the update's going to be really cool. It's going to be a total progression overhaul, uh which I'm very excited to see. So they're they're changing up the way you progress through the game and they have a new system called Omens that is going to be how you power up before particular fights. All right, Bloody Flux gets replaced with Tarantism. Which actually is good for us. That's actually better than good for us. That's actually amazing. Um, 18 to 27. Okay, let's just delete this guy. Yeah, Tarantism is great. We have higher max HP on Baldwin now. We can't be moved by it. So there's not a lot of harm in that. Yourself. Don't love Dismas taking that one, though. Tarantism is good for business, indeed. I'm super excited too, Robbie. Very, very excited. I had to take the 50-50. I guess I could have taken aim there. Probably should have. The slow suffering begins. I think I need to hold off. I can't I can't greed the the heal there completely. You're at four, you're dead. I think we do that. We're gonna leave the doggo for last, I think. A calculated generosity. I don't like spending early battlefield medicines on these fights just in case we get quad spiders next time, but. We have pretty good control over the fight, so I think now is as good a time as any. Gosh, being able to do an attack that also generates taunt is just like, it's so good. So this dog seems to be going quite quickly in the turn order. Uh, which was the Hellion nerf, Doctor Dramatic? I don't, I don't think I saw it. I, I need to go back and reread the patch notes. This was a very busy weekend, uh, so this is gonna hit for six if it hits. So we can't do that. Um, let's roll ounce. Cooperation is the key. Okay, so we get. We get all but one action, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. We have full taunt already, so I'm just going to put some damage in here. Oh, yeah, 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 the Howling End change. Sorry, I was aware of that one. Uh, so I think it was I think it was warranted. I think that the reason that they added cooldowns to certain abilities was because a lot of characters got into these really kind of boring rotations. So, like, you had Man-at-Arms where the rotation was Retribution, and you had Hellion who was, like, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and then when you're not toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you... 
We have a ton of taunt right now, so I'm gonna do a solemnity. When you're not toe-to-toeing your howling ending and you're just kind of alternating was pretty boring. So I think it is good that they they changed things up a little bit. You're taking six, you, you have six. All right, so we will we will do this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use a heal on our plague doctor. I think to get our leper topped up. But yeah, I think I think it's really good that they've created some diversity in the. In, in the rotations, and I think cooldowns are a really good way to do that. Sarmenti, settle down. Nothing, nothing, no problems here. Everything is good. We can put the taunt up right afterwards, so I think indiscriminate science is great here. But yeah, I, I was never, like, Howling End was, Howling End is a good Listen skill for sure, but it never really was, like, the the core of my Hellion gameplay. You know, it was like that, you get that one big attack, you get that one kill type of thing. But I was not a great Hellion player in general, I would say. Like, Hellion, like, I think a lot of people found a huge amount of success with Hellion, and for me, Hellion was always like, a, yeah, I'll take them from time to time, but I never found them to be... Amazing. Okay, clean creature den. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Minus three stress to all heroes plus one mastery is good. Yeah, so Howling End was was good, but I, I never particularly loved it, and now I'm like, eh yeah, maybe I just won't use it. Maybe that's the maybe that's the play. Let's see. What am I saving up here? We definitely don't need all these baubles. I'm still not even sure if we're going to the hoarder. I guess we got rid of our disease, right? So now we can go to the hoarder. Yeah, toe to toe is insane. Uh, very very strong. Remember. And toe to toe still pairs super well with Howling End. You just you just have to you know get the get things right. Okay, everyone panic. I don't know if we're gonna survive this one. This is this is gonna be a rough fight. It is. Toe-to-toe -to -toe is similar to Leper's Intimidate, but Leper's Intimidate being able to target anywhere just feels so good. Uh, In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. I don't know that we're getting another another one there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use a little bit of laudanum here. We're we're kind of overflowing with with good stock, good combat items, so. Rose, would I would I do a Mr. Beast challenge? Depends. I'm not I'm not super uh, <laughs> not super motivated to, but you know, the stranger things have happened. Okay, so now we have a tough choice here. What is the next skill that I want to unlock? Because now that I have Intimidate, I'm feeling pretty good. Because we're not going to get all the way to ruin with the leper. I kind of feel like I miss uh, some some skills that Dismas has, and I'd love to make more progress to Magnesium Rain. What is, what is Sarmenti? What am I missing with Sarmenti here? Oh, Solo and Finale. Wouldn't be good on this run, necessarily. But I wouldn't mind doing a Sarmenti here. And maybe it'll be the, the Dueling Banjos one that I, that I hate. <laughs> Ah, uh, it does appear like it is. All right, let me see if I can remember how to do this one. 
unleashed his resentment upon instrument and Okay, so I need mine to match the opposite of theirs, I seem to remember. Right? And I don't remember which note I am. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, play three melodies. Right, I just I just mirror theirs, which theirs is theirs is right now beamed semi quaver, all the way in the back. I'm the wild I'm a wild card note. Yeah, I I remember that much, but so I can't I can't mirror it right now because this would need to be all the way back here, right? Oh, wait, I can shuffle their stuff. That's right. Oh, no, this shuffles my whole setup. Or I can change a note. So right now, we're, we're matched here, matched here, we're not matched here, and we're not matched here. I think we shuffle. So now we're good here. Oh no, we need we need this one to go back one. If I move forward when we don't get it. Target shuffle. If I move forward one, we're close. But we need this one to go back. So if I forward one, we don't get it. That's not going to help us. Melody is not going to help us. Do I just shuffle us again? Crescendo changes notes. Well, no, that's Crescendo is just going to move me forward, right? Which means we still need to transpose these two. Okay, let's try it. We'll try it. Yeah, so this didn't change any notes. Okay. So we have we have a good mix of notes. I just have to swap their positions, but how do I do that? All right, I guess we'll we'll try swapping this note. Okay. And then we should try changing the front note, I guess, as well. All right, one more time on this one, I guess. All right, so that now we're matched up, which means we do get a melody. Okay, so we're not we're not very close right now, so I think it's just a shuffle. We need to shuffle again because we didn't we didn't get even remotely close to it on that one. Okay, so right now we're matched and then the back two are not matched. So I think we start changing notes. I think the notes change in order, I'm starting to realize. Yeah, it does look like they do. All right, so we get it on the next one, but then I think we're getting a little... Things are getting a little spicy. Okay, so right now I'm in a good position. You are only one play away from matching this. You're one play away from matching this, and you're two plays away from matching that. So if if the progression is correct, 
we're guaranteed to win just by doing that, right? Because this is one stress here matches those two. Then one stress here. No, two stress here matches those two. So that's three stress. And then this is one, two stress. Let me just let me do the math again. One stress here. One, two stress here. So that's three stress. Then two more stress here is five stress. One, two, three. We have six pips. All right. I'm willing to I'm willing to risk it. If these are random changes, we're in trouble though. Okay, that one worked. Looks like I was correct. Boom! Get wrecked. Okay. A little bit of math, and we get finale, which we will never use on this run. <laughs> but that's okay. It's good to have that one out of the way because it's a little spooky. And now I guess we will go to the Hoarder because we don't. We're, we actually like Baldwin having Tarantism. It is a good for us disease. Now, I think one thing I am going to change, well, once we get a little closer, I am going to add play out to Sarmenti to try to help with the exemplar when we get closer to that. The fire rises. They're mainline and dismiss because they know. They know. Oh, still one off? Dang. Oh, that's what Intimidate is for. Intimidate is for one offs. Twenty five percent. I'm going to take aim. I, I don't want to be taking any, any awkward hits here. A simple kindness. Obnoxious. The slow suffering begins. Alright, and now we we go for the cheeky the cheeky jinx play here. No dodge, you say. I think this is uh Yep, that's a kill. Let's do it. I the Infernal Taskmasters deciding that all they're gonna do is uh is their spam their AoE is super annoying. That's okay. Ten two, you're definitely dead. Ooh. So I mean, he's not quite at the point where he needs healing. A 
We'll get a little bit of stress healing with a nice little corpse crit. There we go. Oh, all right. If the exemplar kills us, I'm going to be very, very sad. We don't need disease resist for where we're going. I have mastered play out, yes. Okay, last chance to spend baubles is inspiringly underwhelming. Hmm. Lots of goodies for the cultist fights. So let's see. We definitely don't need all these baubles anymore. And I think that's probably it. We already have enough food. We have one clarifying polstice. It's kind of all I'm interested in. Ah, one crow's feet, because we, uh, we had one already. Coming up to the end, we have an absolute mountain of, uh, of holy water, so. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to save that for removing stun, though, in the, uh, in the final fight against the chains. Hard to say. Do you have any? Your, all your relationships are fine, so. Probably should have damaged Sarmenti's relationship just because Dismas is a little a little light on on HP. Ooh. And Jinx giving us combo there was very fortuitous. Ah, would have been cooler if we had actually landed the stun. Whip trip. With her at five, we'll probably use pistol shot. But for now, let's just. Uh, not, not great on the timing there. The ordering was a little suboptimal. Okay, he's roasted. Not, not ever gonna make it to the front line. So Menti really needs to stop taking hits for uh, for our leper. That would be fantastic. There's an argument to be made for doing the doing the infernal there with the blind, just because we have there is some likelihood that we will uh, find ourselves getting AOE'd. Crit there would have been fatal. Yep, could have avoided the AoE. And then not taunting is of questionable is a questionable decision, but There is, there's a part of me that wants that wants to hold off here a little bit. I think I'm going to. 
Just to see if we can get one more with Paracelsus. We can, but it means we take another hit. I don't think I mind taking another hit too much. Next stop, Exemplar. All right, which will at least lock our candles in. So hopefully, uh, hopefully some good comes of that. We did not hit our goal of 17 trillion academic studies to no one's surprise. Let's see, so for this final fight, Harvest gets replaced with Play Out. That all looks correct. We could go like point blank shot spam on uh, on the exemplar. Like I think moving dismiss to the front could actually be like pretty advantageous. It's such an interesting idea. But we miss out on Baldwin having being able to taunt, and I think Baldwin's gonna be pretty good. Let's do combat items before we go any further. I think smoke bombs basically never land. We have a lot of healing available. I think we're going to stick with this. Here we go. Ordained exemplar. You, you, you love to hate to see it, right? Ooh, I thought we I thought we got an unlucky one there. Okay, prelude dodge good. Bad. <laughs> good, bad. Got it. All right. Uh let's see. Oh, and the 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 stealth on the exemplar is just cruel and unusual. Um, yeah, that's really frustrating. Let me get another token here for indiscriminate science. I think. Okay. Do we give up the crit token here? Oh, we have no way to get rid of the repost, do we? Yeah, we don't. I mean, I'm going to face Tang with Baldwin, obviously, but uh, that only gets rid of one. <laughs> Do I want to use up the combo here? I kind of don't. Yeah, I think we just go for the heal here. Get rid of the vulnerable. Did 
the weekend's good too, if we can land it. Bad, bad turn ordering again here. Play out to remove, I think. We just need to, we need to make a little more progress because it's going to summon pretty soon. I think I keep stacking, I think I keep stacking taunt here. Oh, the double turn is a little bit of a bummer. Okay, extra actions, good. Although it does mean now we're susceptible to the fall. Uh, I think, given that, I'm gonna go for the withstand here. So we get the good, the good tokens, since I think this is gonna be the fall. Yep. And now it's gonna resummon because it has two worship. With this turn order, I think we're just we're just gonna heal this, even though it doesn't uh, doesn't count for a heal. So I don't think I think we just go for the blind here, because twelve is too much. Welcome relief from caustic agony. Dismas is showing uh, showing us something. I think we're good. I think we will indeed make it to the mountain. Famous last words, but... Wow. Just immediately keeled over. Doesn't it have like 95 death blow resist? <laughs> I think the only thing we want is that. Yeah, what's the starting exemplar death blow resist? I was sure it was like 95% or something. Seventy five percent? Okay. Ooh, nasty. Did we just lose our relationship with Baldwin and Dismas? No, they were full. Good. All right, well, we're definitely going to lock in our hope, but I'm hopeful that we go all the way on this one. That would be a nice change of pace. Lethal faint on Dismas, Clodder on Baldwin. Mm, not a bad, not a bad set there. Now, did we, have we lost any... No, we didn't lose anything there. Uh, we did over here lose our crit chance. That's that's the only thing that we lost. So 51. Yeah, we lost... Uh, we had one good on... We had the... We had the ranged crit and range damage on Paracelsus, and we did lose that one. But that was the only one. Another clarifying pool sis. Okay. The of the road. I think I'm just gonna give everyone one. Where where are you getting? Oh, you're getting it from the trinket? Oh yeah, from the trinket. Okay, well that's fine still. Natural eye, thank you. That's the one that I was thinking of. Eight more mastery feels pretty good. I'm not seeing anything at the provisioner that catches my eye, unfortunately. Once again. We might as well grab these. The mountain is beckoning. Let's see, I guess we'll do... 
Oh, we will need to do some healing items. I'm going to give everyone one of these. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Blocked by hemophobia. Well, so much for that plan. Blocked by germophobia. <laughs> All right, well, that was probably not my best purchase then. I guess. Let's see, I think we're gonna put those there for now. All right, so four level ups. There's nothing there that I even want. Battlefield medicine is good. I don't even know. I'm probably going to go incision just in case we end up with Paracelsus as the last person standing. Very unlikely. Oh, low chance of bloodthirsty. That is interesting. But basically we have five mastery that I don't even see a use for. I guess this hits slightly harder. I don't think I'm planning on using any of these. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, Battle Ballad also removes uh, combo. That's interesting. Okay. Anything else from the Provisioner of Value? What's our, what do our relationships look like? I think they're all good. I kind of don't want to risk putting these two in a worse position. So I'm not going to grab the whiskey barrel. Um, they might come in handy. But yeah, I think that's it. Let me... Uh, Let's get on with it.